Hello everybody, this is OW Gaming and welcome back for another uh, language video. This one is the first vi video I'm gonna make for the for the series which is uh which is called the Future of Languister or also known as the Languister Lookout from Kong, but anyways this is uh, the series I'm gonna make uh, as my own. But anyways, this is the one that I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen within the CN and also to global in the future. So anyways this is why this is this series is called the future of languister especially this is the first episode i'm gonna make for this kind of series so anyways here we go so let, look let's look right into the new characters that were introduced in cn uh which is which will drop probably later tonight or depending on what time zone you're on <coughs> so anyways there are two new characters uh zeon and and leo back and keep in mind these are translated from the on a Chinese website, so so uh, this these are just rough these are just a rough translation. So take this as a grain of salt. Just just uh, just let you know, and because uh, you know sometimes in global they receive different names, which it is possible because we did see it from uh, from one of those patches like that we got with the with the Ashamar and and lost them. They their names got changed entirely. I'm into a similar name, of course, but. I don't know about these guys though because um <clears throat> we they might receive different name for global but we'll see. Anyways, the reason why I want to I want to dive right into this kind of topic is because uh I was analyzing the the trailer that I just uploaded to my channel uh about the these two characters. And uh these guys are have interesting abilities. I I will probably say uh, it's going to be a shame if I don't actually explain anything about this, but I'm going to give uh give this a rough idea of what they do. But um, I won't be able to re I won't be able to tell what kind of kit they have because um, that the only information I got is from the Chinese website as well as the uh, as well as the video that I just uploaded. So these are the two sources I will be getting. But only I only gonna link the Chinese website because that one is uh it's a website you could visit to take a look what they what they have and also there's even Echo Light skins for them as well. So anyways uh before without um without any more delays let's move to the first unit we're gonna discuss. So anyways, first off we got Zeon. Do, don't mistake the word Zeon as and Zeon mixed together because you know they both have similar spellings. Don't get that mixed up. So anyways, uh, back on topic. <coughs> uh, Zeon has a uh, boomerang skill mechanic, uh, which basically it's from a active skill. So when you act, when you plot that skill, it, the the thing the boomerang like looking weapon will actually go through enemies, uh, hitting multiple units at once, which is a line AOE. And then after you take the action or like like whichever that you end your end your turn, that boomerang comes back and hit those targets again, which it is pretty useful in some situations. So like you can see here the the picture above, where uh, the picture in the, on the screen right now it shows that the like Zion actually uses that skill, which it hits them once, and then after turn, it, that same projectile hits back at them again. Is it, this is based on trailer, so I'm not sure if it's going to be exactly like that, but we will see when the time comes. And also, um, let's look in, and see. Let's guess what kind of factions they are. Uh, for for the, for Zeon, uh, to my only guess, I hear I could uh, imagine is he's probably part of Meteor Strike because um his skills are pretty much like what assassins would have. <clears throat> but other factions, I'm not sure because um, the the website I'm trying to look into didn't have much info about the factions yet. Like I I, I don't think Wakeworster even had the info yet because those guy those guys aren't even out yet. Now come to think of it. But um, I'll I'll keep you up to date through the comments if I find out anything else about their factions and other abilities that they might have in the future. All right, moving on to the next character. This one's intriguing because um, you know, after a while now, I noticed that this character will, will bring a new new meta to the to PVP front. So, anyways, Leo Beck could be one of them. So let's dive right into it. So Leo Beck has a skill. Uh, listen to this. Uh, Leo Beck has a skill that can revive an ally. Yeah, you heard that right. You can actually he can actually revive an ally uh, at ease, but however, at the cost of his own HP though. <coughs> like I mean, it's not a lot when it comes when it comes to reviving. So, anyways, this skill um only works on units that are still alive, of course. It it will be too overpowered if you can actually completely revive them from the dead, which is not possible. Uh. uh because the, that's not how the game works. So, anyways, 
Uh, back on topic, so Leo's um skill, revival skill, uh, it allows it allows him to like um like for example, if you want to keep that ally alive, uh, that revive could save you a lot. Like uh, if your unit's about to die, they won't die because of the revive that has been added to their uh stats. <clears throat> However, the recovery will only be a little amount of HP, which is uh, fair fair enough. But uh, however, in some scenarios, if you if you're fighting against someone that has like a fixed damage after battle, then it's not likely they, the revival is going to help you much because um because because sometimes the that revive HP is actually not enough for it to survive the fixed damage incoming. So when that happens, the revive is basically useless. So we gotta keep keep in keep in mind about that one. Because uh like the revive skill it's great, but in some situ situations like um fixed damage after combat, that one is that one doesn't save you. Just an FYI. <clears throat> and now let's think about what Leo Beck's factions are gonna be. Uh let's see. So anyways, uh, to my speculation, I think he might be part of Dark Reincarnation because of his appearance, looking like an evil guy, I would say. And also, he's he might also become he he might also be part of the mythical realm as well, because of his extraordinary abilities. You know, any hero with extraordinary abilities like something that's like out of the na natural uh thing, they are considered as mythical realm units. So like for example, Reen, for, like Reen has a unusual condition where like he his appearance would change to like a white hair, yeah. That's that's one one way of thinking of mythical realm, and with Alicia as well, she mysteriously is a Valkyrian, and and yeah, that actually put her in as a mythical team as well. So, so I do have a feeling that Leo Beck might be mythical realm as well, not just dark incarnation. But I don't know, I could be wrong. But I'll let you all know again in the comments and see if I got any more info information about these guys. So yeah, anyways, this video is mostly about the rough, uh, r the rough idea of how these characters are gonna be, and how they're gonna work within the content. So, for both of these characters, um, they're pretty situational for PvP. Like they aren't as, uh, they're not as great as I thought they will be. But however, the revive could be huge in some boxes. So, for example, if you if you're running, if you're facing an opponent that doesn't have fixed damage capabilities, then yeah, revive is gonna help you out a lot. But if not, if it, if your opponent do have fixed damage, then that's totally different. So, anyways, I hope uh, we will get our hands on these characters when the time comes. But for now, th these characters are going to be arriving in CN version of Languister. So, if you guys if, if you guys have access to CN Languister, then you can try them out right away. If not, we're going to have to wait for like probably a few more months before we can get our hands on these guys. And um, anyways, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna fully fully rely on weak wizard because sometimes their translation might not be as accurate as I thought. So just take this uh, video as a grain of salt because uh, not everything here will be accurate. So hopefully when the time comes or whichever uh, information I got, I'll keep you all up to date through the comments. So see y'all see y'all next time. Hopefully this uh this will inform you what these units does in the future. So see y'all next. So see y'all later.